Now there is a whole lot of Ogren momminess in just this page right here. Just take a good look at her. She's kind of built like Bellower, but she's mommy. Uh, looks like she hasn't showered in a little bit, but that's completely okay. Her A1 attacks twice, places decreased attack, debuff for two turns. Her A2, AoE, places two bombs that detonate after two turns, uh, two turns and bomb damage increases by 100% against bosses. So this is going to be her bread and butter. I think her special brew. So let's go and check her A3, which is attacks all enemies and then instantly detonates all those bombs if this champion is under attack, increased attack. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that she's always paired with somebody who does increase attack because she's not going to increase her own attack. So people like, or champions like Duchess, Arbiter, Mithrala would be a really good option as well. Would be probably one of the better options because Lydia places the decreased defense and weaken, and Mithrala places the Hex. Now, somebody correct me, please. Inform me, does Hex increase the damage of bombs? I'm not exactly sure of that. Again, I'm just your average raider here. Now, when it comes to bombs, and again, somebody correct me, the damage that comes from bombs is based off of attack. So when we go into the builds here, I'm going to explain what I know, which, by the way, going into this champion guide, champion showcase, a lot of what I say here could be wrong. If you know more than I do, please go to the comments and inform me so that I don't put out any bad information and somebody else could learn from the comments here. Also, let me know what best, because I don't actually use War Mother. That's the truth. I don't use War Mother for PvP. I don't use her in PvE. But... I do recall some stuff in the past about her. But yeah, uh, let me know how you guys use her, where you guys are using her. I'd be interested to know. Now, when it comes to building her out, because this is her kit, these are the reviews on her, obviously. She, well, before we talk about building her out, her out in her kit, building her out in her kit, sorry, I've been uh, drinking some adult juice. She's not really like a PvP champion. I don't think she's a PvP bomber. She's not somebody that I would bring into PvP. If I have to put her and Lord Shazar next to each other, I probably would not choose her over Lord Shazar. She seems more like a, uh, a PvE champion, while Lord Shazar seems more like a PvP type boss. His kit just seems more so in line with the type of bomber that you're going to want to use for PvP. All right? He's got the grand extra turn, he's got the bombs, and he's got the increased speed in arena battles. Pretty nice champion. I don't see too much of him anymore. Um, not, not in plat. I think there's other options. But for the longest time, he was uh, one of the guys that you'd probably want to bring. Especially when you're going up against somebody in stone skin. Because bombs are able to smash through stone skin. Right? So we're going to dive in. We talked about our kit. And I'm going to do my best to give a relatively, quote-unquote, deep dive into how I would build her out, how I would try to use her. We're going to discover all of this together. Again, I've never used her. I'm not well-versed in her. I do know that she is the 17th daughter. War Mother is descended from a long line of Ogren warrior women. Uh, she was the 17th daughter of Grimar the Prodigious, the matriarch of the powerful Bone Grinder tribe. I'm not going to put any masteries on her. And so take this guide with a grain of salt. I'm not going to put books into her either. Just know that putting books into her will increase damage as well as decrease cooldowns. And also the masteries are also going to do a lot more for her. You could put like War Master on her so that her direct damage, not from the bombs, but from her sword, her uh, A1 or her initial hit, physical hit, is going to do a little more damage, or have the chance to proc extra damage. You could take uh, Accuracy, Eagle Eye, if you're lacking in Accuracy, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. And I don't really see us going down the defense tree. The reason I'm not going to do any Masteries or books is I don't think she's worth the resources. Just straight up. She's not somebody that I would really go out of my way for, 
But I thought it would be fun. One, because she is mommy. She is a meme, almost. And two, maybe you might find use for her. Remember, guys, her A2 bomb damage increases by 100%. So what you could do is, you know, Bommel's not in the Doom Tower ro rotation. But when Bommel comes into the Doom Tower rotation, she actually might be a really good champion to use against Bommel. So that's somebody that I might consider if I didn't have any bomb champions, if I didn't have any other way. And like, let's say you're like a newer player or mid game player and War Mother is just one of the champions that you happen to have lying around and you're looking for a bomber and you don't have a Nishak or a Lord Shazer. By the way, I think Nishak is a better option, which is also why I'm not going to really invest too much into War Mother. That's just being real here. Also, she could help out in Faction Wars, but even I don't use her in Faction Wars. So when it comes to building her out, I've already gone through the Hell Hades Optimizer. Yes, I'm not banned from using the Hell Hades Optimizer, and I think it's been verified at this point. A day or two ago, it was verified by Farbstaff and Hell Hades that it's not the Optimizer or the RSL Helper messing things up. The way I see it, when you're building War Mother, you're going to want to, let me look at the stats here, prioritize pretty much attack and speed. And I went for 100% crit rate just to kind of see how much damage she does directly. I know that most of her damage is going to come from the bombs. And I also put a little bit of accuracy in here. I think 400 might be overkill, but I think it's going to be sufficient. Right now I'm in gold 5 arena, so we'll see. Put something together, craft it, and just see if it's enough accuracy to uh, deal with any PvP. I'm pretty sure we'll do okay in the dungeons. We'll test her out in the dungeons too. Uh, I, I wanted to go with 200 speed just because when it comes to building damage dealers, I think maybe a lot of the newer players don't realize that, hey, you, you should have speed. Because if you can't take a turn, you can't do anything. And there's no point, right? So make sure you're having some speed on her. I think early on, you might not even get to 200, if I recall. Maybe like 160, 180, 190 might be just about where you're at. If you can't do 5,000, obviously just go as high as you can. So 3,000, 4,000 if you can swing it. Accuracy, most of you will probably do like 200 about to start out with. But again, there's masteries you can take. Res isn't going to do anything. Uh, crit damage could do some stuff for the initial hits. I don't think crit rate and crit damage influence the damage of the bombs. Defense and HP, depending on where you plan to use her, may or may not uh, help. Like, if you're going to use her in Hydra, I think she'd be a decent option. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that she's an awesome option. I think she's going to be okay. For Hydra, what I normally look for, I guess for any type of PvE content, normally what I look for is about 40,000 HP. You could drop down to 30k. And defense, I try to aim for a minimum of 3,000. So. After we click Optimize, these are our options. We're just going to go with the first one here because I, I'm pretty sure this is the best option. Giving us 5k attack minimum. Most nukers that I have, I try to aim for 5k attack. Remember, the higher attack you have, the more damage your bombs will do. We do have crit rate. We got some crit damage, not a lot. We got 208 speed, 208 speed, and 407 accuracy. In fact, let's drop down the accuracy to like 300. I'm pretty sure we'll do just fine without too much accuracy. Let's see if we get a more attack. We don't get more attack. We don't get that much more. So, I mean, we get a little bit of extra crit damage, but nothing spectacular. This is fine. We'll, we'll rock this, and we'll see how we go. So let's go ahead and throw these on here real quick. And at this point, you could probably even just notice that. Um, well, not notice that, but uh, what was I trying to say? You'll see the specific pieces of gear that I have on her. So right now we have this piece, the protection piece, so getting some speed, some crit rate, and attack percentage with the accuracy. And for the helmet, we're gonna go savage. I don't you don't have to have so savage is gonna be cool because you can ignore 25% of enemy defense. I don't think bombs really um benefit too much from or or if at all from this. I think this is just the direct damage, but again, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think bombs naturally already ignore damage, if I'm 
Pretty sure I'm not a bomb user. I'm not a bomber man. So I don't I don't use bomb champions. Except for Nishak early on when he first came out. I was like, oh, you know, I'll try him out. But other than that, I didn't really use him until YST came out with a video talking about how to speed run Bommel. And that's when I busted out a bomb champion again. Let's see, we're looking for supersonic boots. Got the speed on speed. Let's move over to the accessories. Level 14 here. It's fine. I'll just end up taking these off again later on. And looks like this is on... Oh, it's divided into uh, things now. Oh, here's another thing. Guys, for the amulet, if you are going to build any bomb champion or war, war mother in particular, you don't have to worry about crit damage for the amulet. In fact, you would want attack, flat attack. Normally people say, oh, for the amulets, you, you don't want to keep flat attacks. But if you're looking for bomb champions, you're going to want to have flat attacks. The are flat attack amulets just because of what we already mentioned. It doing more damage or your bombs will do more damage based on overall uh, attack and crit damage isn't going to help. So accuracy for the banner. And there we go. Voila. She is in Savage, Supersonic. The sets don't actually matter too much. Um, I would assume you'd want to go for something like Perception. A triple Perception would be nice. Get that accuracy in. And let's just bump this all the way up. Just, just for, the, for the hell of it. Got to knock that out too. Right. Let's go ahead and first test her out in Arena. So right now we have this. Let's take Taurus out and just throw War Mother in just to kind of see how this all pans out. X out of Hell Hades off my... Okay, so here we are. Let's increase attack. So we have increased attack on War Mother. We're going to place the decrease defense and weaken. And then we're going to hopefully not kill everybody. Never mind. And well, let's just see how much damage this A2 does. Or let's check her A1. 33. Respectable. Respectable. Uh, let me see if I can find a... Yeah, this one looks OBV. This one looks good. Okay. Increase attack. Speed boost. Decrease defense and weaken. Oh, we didn't get... We didn't get Duchess. So we might have to... We might worry about that there. We remove this off of Cardia. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Let's just leave. Or actually let's let's take here, let's take out um let's take out Ramantu and put in Yumiko instead. I think that'll be better. Alright, increase attack. Cooldowns. Oh, except for Duchess. Whoa. Alright. Jesus, that Duchess has high res. That's crazy. Let's uh here, let's switch out here. Let's put Yumiko in the lead here. That's that's a high res duchess right there. My Yumiko is pushing I'll I'll check right now. I think it's approaching 700. There we go. So yeah. Alright, skills on cooldown. And still resisted. That's crazy. Oh my god, you know what? This is this is just, well hold on, let, let's just keep going. Let's just let's go. Let's see if we can keep it up. And we're going to place this on Rodos. You know what? Let's just go somewhere else. This is just not working. As you can see, I don't really use Bomb Champion, so... Yeah. Alright. Oh, this one. I thought this UDK was going to have Stone Skin, but no. Let's put their skills on cooldown. Decrease defense and weaken. Come on, I just want to check the bombs. I want to see how much these bombs do. Thrala. Alright, here we go. Placing the bombs, slow down. Let's check their initial damage. Oh, 58. I saw 58 there. Got the provoke off here. You know, I, I think I want to try Mithrala together with Mommy. Let's see, let's put her, can we lock her out? We cannot. Uh, turn meter boost. Can we detonate this bomb off of Sill? Detonation 50k. Let me see if we can get this one here. Let's put her in the lead for speed. 
stone skin on Mithrala, but Mithrala is probably not going to. Okay, so UDK resisted. Let's see if we can get the bombs off on her. Got the bombs. We did. We did not get the bombs. Okay, never mind. Hit UDK. And just hit this. UDK's dead. Terminator boost. And let's check it. 74, 68. It's a shame that Mithrala didn't get it. Let's finish this out. What's this damage looking like? 1,067. 67k, I mean. I mean, 6,700. 75, 7,000. So not much there. I guess we can see why a lot of people don't use her in arena. Let's see what else could we do. Here. There we go. Let's do this one. It's a level 68, but you know, we'll still be able to see. Let's redirect to Rima. And let's lock out our mons real quick. I just realized that's a thing. I should have started started with Yumiko's A3. What am I doing? I don't really do arena that much. Let's see. At least not anymore. Skills on cooldown. Decrease defense. Weaken. Now place the bombs. 40k on Helicath. I didn't see what else was there though. Let's redirect to Harima. Let's lock Rima out. Oof, okay. I'm glad she survived. Let's check the detonation. 26. I didn't see what Chris had there. Hmm, let me see against the sister fister. The sister fister. I feel like. Hmm. Let's take Yumiko out. Let's put Mithrala in. Where's Mithrala? Just to kind of see how Mithrala does. I'd be, I'm just, I'm curious. All right, so let's see. Increase speed, decrease defense, and weaken. Does Hex do anything? Wait, I, I just, I've been having Hex. What am I talking about? What am I saying right now? Hex has been up. What am I doing? Put Warlord in. Just took it. All right, increase attack. Push their turn meter back. Do this, and let's check it. We're looking at 6956. Should I remove this off of Skull Crown? Our block buffs up and take care of her. All right, so as you can see, okay, okay, in arena, we're in gold five. Obviously, not somebody I'm going to use on a regular basis here. Just try one more fight here and then we'll move on to PvP or PvE stuff. So, 68, 81. Obviously, like this is not even my. I wouldn't call this like my 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 best gear either, because my best gear is on somebody like Candrophon and Rhodos and Taurus. But it's decent gear. It's usable gear. It's it's not the best, but it's okay. 18k. Although Mithrala is a little bit on the tankier side. And petrified. What was that? 36. Definitely somebody you might want to consider if you have nobody else, but I mean, that could be said about pretty much any champion. Let's try her out in the dungeons. Let's see how she does against Spider. Let's drop down to 20 here. Do a little testy test. And let's see. We'll keep Enthralla in. We're going to keep Enthralla. We'll keep Lydia in. 
And let's see, is that all we need? Increase attack, decrease defense, and weaken. I wonder if there's a way to increase bomb damage. Let's just see how much how much we do here. Alright, so decrease defense and weaken. Have the hex up too. Let's get the increase attack on. Place bombs. Okay, we see 100 on the spiderlings. I didn't see what that was there. And let's poke. After all, it takes it. Everybody's petrified. Don't they receive more damage when they're petrified? Let's look at, let's stare at this one. Try to look at it slowly. That was 43. It was only 43. Another thing that I want to do is try War Mother out in Hydra. But Hydra, I've already, I've already done my Hydra runs, so I can't do that. And to be honest, I saw Nubkex do a video using War Mother. And he had a pretty solid team. I think it was like Duchess, Geomancer, War Mother. War Mother did the highest amount of damage. It was on Hydra normal. And War Mother pumped out 10k. Which is, or not sorry, not 10k, sorry, 10 million herself. There was one point where War Mother had like seven bombs up on Hydra, and all seven of those bombs went off, and the total damage was like 400 something k, like 400k. It wasn't much. Now, granted, I'm a little bit jaded just because I'm used to seeing like Trenda doing 20 million in one hit, or like Rodos hitting. For like 1.5 million in one hit, or Rathalos or Taurus hitting for a milli. But as a newer player, like I gotta wonder, are bombs like really good to use for Hydra? Again, you're talking, you're asking, you're you're talking to a guy who's never really used bomb champions before. Like I tried Lord Shazar for a while, but I I don't know, he just it it felt weird to me. I didn't really like it. I do remember I tried Nishak in Hydra once on another free-to-play endgame account. And he uh he did like about 20 million himself. 20 mil. That was on Hydra hard. So I think there's some merit there, but I don't see them doing more damage than you know a, a straight up just godly nuker. But then again you can you know, let me know. So obviously this is not going to end well. Let me just go back and I feel like redeeming myself here. All right, bothers me. Whenever I switch things out, oftentimes when I come back, it's the same crap team that I tried before, just or whatever it was like to showcase, and it never goes back to the original team and sometimes I'll click it and it'll be like, hey, you you failed this run or you were defeated and it's because I wasn't using the proper team. Okay, let me just bang this out real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and try her out in a different dungeon. Let's try her out in Dragon. And I think with Dragon, we can get rid of Theodore. We have, we're going to have decreased defense with Ghostborn. Let's get rid of them. Let's put, let's see Drake. I haven't seen Draco morph in a while. In a, in a long while, I haven't seen Draco. Let's bring Draco in. War Mother. And let's bring Kaimar in. Just to have a reset champion. I know that Yumago was right there, but. All right, stage 20. Let's see it. So let's go ahead and set everybody up. And we'll see what we do to the waves. Irresistible. Have the weaken up. And let's check this damage. There's so many. I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? Because I didn't. That was a lot. Like a bunch of words and numbers. I didn't see anything. So 
hit apothecary. Let's detonate. Let's try to go. I mean, sixty-nine. So he, she looks like she's hitting around seventy, between fifty and seventy is what she's looking like she's hitting for. That that's what I'm seeing. Here, let's just go ahead and use our skills. Oh, I should have reset. Why didn't I reset with Kaimar? All right, now we're gonna reset. Boost turn meter. Place the hex. Increase attack. Decrease defense, weaken, and let's try and do that. The bombs, let's see, 57, I saw 73 over there. Poke you out, let's go through. And I'm pretty sure we're going to finish this dragon run. So let's go ahead and throw this on auto and see how much damage that we end up doing to the dragon just in general, it looks like a lot of this damage is going to be coming from the poisons. Who's going to do more damage? Is it going to be Dracomorph? Is it going to be a Bomb Mommy? I think... Okay, so none of the bombs are being placed because of Dracomorph. Rip. But then again, I think War Mother did most of the damage in terms of waves, so who knows? We'll see. We'll see here. Yeah, do any of you guys use War Mother? Have you guys ever used the War Mother? Or is she just a complete meme for the sake of being a meme? War Mother did 1 million by herself. Let's take Draco Morph, Morph out. And let's just throw in Lydia. And, oh, yeah, screw it. We're just going to throw it on auto. What does she prioritize? She prioritizes her A2. Okay. Pedro, 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 Pedro. 79 right there, so almost 80k. And then her A1s are hitting for 15, 16k. It's unfortunate, right? Because you can get so jaded. So used to just having OP champions for a long time that anybody else, in retrospect or in in light of, or relatively speaking, seems like complete shit. Because right now, to me, War Mother seems like a complete meme, complete shit. But to somebody else, she could be, like, really awesome. And I think that stems from me just being used to having a lot of pay-to-win meta champions. But I don't want to detract from the fact that she could be really great for somebody. You know what I mean? That's an optimistic point of view. It's also me kind of stretching. Was that 60k on the dragon? But I'm also not trying to be that guy who's like, oh yeah, build this champion, use this champion. That's not my point. My point is to kind of test her out and see for myself how great of a champion is she really. So from Nubkex's, and I think Nubkex had a better build for War, War Mother. He even had masteries and, and everything, the whole nine. And I wasn't too impressed. Not Nubkex's fault, but just the champion. I think I think War Mother might actually be more so on the like outdated side. But even back then, she wasn't a really great champion. So I don't know. But yeah, there you go. 1.2 million.